Hi y'all, it's Crystal Porter here. If this is your first time on my channel, thanks for watching. Please like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Share this video by clicking the share button. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. To receive notifications of my upcoming videos, click the bell button. Comment any prayer, salvation, and or Holy Spirit requests or praises so I can do reports on them in my next videos. We are currently at 67 subscribers, 1,000 required. 110 public watch hours, 4,000 are required to hashtag help where needed. That's where we're able to help you or someone that you know that is struggling financially once we're able to get monetized. I want to thank you all for supporting me on this channel, in this journey, and in this calling. Let's go ahead and get started into prayer by bowing our heads and closing our eyes. Thank you. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything that you want us to know today. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, a spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to listen to today. And as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, others, their vehicles, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations. Send down our guardian angel to protect us. Thank you for the work they do for us. Give them and us the rest and restoration we need to do the work you called us to do. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. We bleed the blood of Jesus. Pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us, our loved ones, and the world. We pray that you take away any and all distractions out of our minds, spirits, hearts right now. We pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits right now. Pray against any attempts of the enemy to disrupt this video or anyone listening today. We pray against any attacks of the enemy over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. We pray for God's favor over this video, this channel, and everyone listening today. And we pray that, Lord, you help anyone that's struggling with anything right now to be overcomers and help them in their areas of struggles and weaknesses right now to become strengths. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, or listening to today, just show us that person. We pray that you hedge and protect our leaders, our loved ones, us, and the world. We pray that you show wisdom and understanding and give godly knowledge to our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world. Pray for your favor over our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world, and your heavenly protection over our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world. We pray that you show mercy on our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world, and that you heal our land. We thank you for that, Lord, and we thank you for everyone listening today. We pray that if there's any area inside of us, whether it be thought, word, or action that we send against you or others, that you forgive us. And we pray that we forgive others who've sinned against us. If there's anyone listening today, Lord, that would like to accept you as their Lord and Savior, we pray John 3.16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you will go to heaven with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works that no man shall boast that we can earn our way to heaven. There's not enough good works that we can do. It's only through the perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, dying, buried, and rising again for our sins, the salvation of the world. For those that choose to accept this free gift of grace, they will enter the kingdom of heaven someday. And we thank you for this person that did today. 
and we pray that you help them to hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them. Help them to get in your word every day and pray to you every day to develop a, um, a learning and growing relationship with you. And show them the gifts and talents you've given them and how to use them for your glory to help all those around them in need. We thank you for them and everyone listening today. As we do this Holy Spirit report number 16, we thank you for the person that gave us this comment to speak about today. May you bless them and everyone listening um, and me as well as we learn and grow in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we thank you and pray. Amen. All right. So we just want to thank you um, to our YouTube family member that shared this Holy Spirit report number 16 today. Uh, may we all be blessed by what they say and learn and grow in you today, Lord. And so let's go ahead and get started into that. So um, before I read this, I want to let you know so you understand what we're this is the same person that um, gave the Holy Spirit report number 15. So they're adding on to what the 15 report was after they um, put that. The Lord spoke to them and add some more stuff. So this is the 16th one. They've already done um, some of the other words previous to this on the 15th so if you haven't watched the Holy Spirit report number 15 go ahead and do that and then come back to this so it makes more sense to you all right so just wanted to let you know that so you're not confused all right so let's go ahead and get started so also I'll add if you read the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verses 28 through 35 in context it's speaking about Judah and verse 28 are like the 28 are like the number of your gods, Judah. Compare with Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 23, and the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verses 28 through 37. Keep in mind in the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 verses 36 through 37 is speaking of the converts. Judah makes the Judaized proselytes in the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 13 through 17, keep in mind context, it's speaking of Judah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 34. And on your skirts is found the blood of the lives of helpless, innocent people. I have not found it by searching, but it is on all these skirts, Judah. And Jesus confirms it in the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 27 through 38. Note, in the verse 38 see now your house Judah is being left to you desolate in the book of Matthew chapter 23 verse 33 serpents progeny of vipers how can you escape from the judgment of the valley of Hinnom lying pen of the scribes in the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 verses 8 you see hell written there you cover up valley of Hinnom to cover up what Jeremiah has written about the Valley of Hanom. It's the Valley of the Slaughter. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 19, verse 6, Therefore, see now, the days come, declares Yahweh, that this place will be no more called Tophet, nor the Valley of the Son of Hinnom, but the Valley of Slaughter. Verse 7, And I will make the void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place. And I will cause them, Judah, to fall by the sword before their, Judah's, enemies. And by the hands of those who look for their lives, Israelites, they believe Jesus and have the Father too. And their carcasses, Judah, I will give to be food for the birds of the skies and for the animals of the land. Verse 8, And I will make the city, Judah, Jerusalem, desolate, and a hissing, Get the serpents reference now. Matthew chapter 23, verse 37. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, murdering the prophets and stoning those who have been sent to her. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 11. Therefore, Yahweh Sabaoth says this. 
Eholim of Israel. As you will see, I will set my face against you, Judah, for calamity, and to destroy all Judah. That's a far cry from what God said about Israel in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, prefaced in verse 8. For Yahweh Sabaoth says this, Aholam of Israel, to verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, declares Yahweh, thoughts of shalom and not of calamity, to give you an expected end. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 44, verse 26, Therefore, hear the word of Yahweh, all Judah, who live in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8, spiritual land of Egypt. As you will see, I have sworn by my great name, declares Yahweh, that my name will be no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of spiritual Egypt, saying, Shah Adonai, Yahweh, my Lord, the Lord lives. Verse 27, as you will see, I will watch over them, Judah, for calamity and not for good. And all the men of Judah who are in the land of spiritual Egypt will be consumed by the sword and by famine until there is an end of them, Judah. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 11. And Yahweh said to me, Rebellious Israel has justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Verse 12. Go and proclaim these words towards the north and say, Submit, backsliding Israel. Not said to Judah, only true Israel, declares Yahweh. I will not cause my anger to fall on you, Israelites. Only Judah got divorced, but they are a bad influence on Israelites. For I am merciful, declares Yahweh. I will not remain angry throughout the eon. Verse 13. Only acknowledge your inequity that you have rebelled against Yahweh, your Eohom, and you, Israel, have scattered your ways to foreigners of the covenant, in example, Judah, under every green tree, and you, rebellious Israel, have not obeyed my voice, declares Yahweh. Verse 14, turn back, backsliding sons, Israel, not Judah, declares Yahweh. And uh, that was the end of what our YouTube family member wrote on the second half of the comments. So the first half of the comments was Holy Spirit Report number 15. This is the second half of the comment on Holy Spirit Report number 16. So I want to thank you so much, um, YouTube family member, for what you've done and how you've helped all of us today. And thank you, Lord, for um, giving us wisdom in all of this, discerning what this says, and for everyone listening today. And until next time, bye!